I totally forgot to record, so good thing I rewound this video. Uh, yo, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Naf or ZNaf. Um, however you guys know me, I'm live on Twitch right now. My boy Jones is in the chat, and we're both gonna learn about this gentleman named Honeycomb Brazy, the Demon of Alabama. We're gonna check out why the fuck he's called that. Neither of us have heard of him, and so yeah, we're gonna check this shit out one of the hottest artists from Alabama, but the rapper has also had a pretty rough... I also hate coughing. Coughing's like my least favorite thing. That's why I take small small dabs when I do dab. I take small dabs because I hate coughing. It's, it's, how, it's, it's how I tore my thoracic muscle in my back, the muscle right below your lungs that uh, is, a, is a muscle that gets pressed when your lungs expand. That's how I tore that shit, just from coughing. Come up that has included spending over 10 years in prison and then, that shit sent me to the ER too. But the rapper has also had a pretty rough come up that has included spending over 10 years in prison, going viral for getting shot on IG Live, and having to deal with the brutal murder of his grandparents who were both killed and had their house set on fire. Oh my god. This is that guy? Bro, I watched a YouTube video like months ago. And this dude's this dude this dude this rapper, they didn't name the rapper, but his grandparents' house was set on fire and they were burned alive. Yeah. I didn't know it was... Oh, man. Yo, no cap. If my grandma's house was... Like... If, my, if I had grandparents that lived in, in my city and their house got burned down because they thought I was in there and they were the ones that were burned alive, bruh. That there, uh, in the news, the people that were in the neighborhood went and talked to the news, and they were like, "We could hear them screaming from being burned to death." That's, dude, I'm I might turn into a demon after that shit too. I'm not gonna cap with you, bro. Now the rapper will be going back to prison after being sentenced to 13 and a half years for violating his probation by posing in a music video with guns and drugs. Let's take a closer look at the wildlife and career of Honeycomb. Man, that's such a dumb fuck up for you to violate parole by having guns and drugs in your music video. That's such a dumb fuck up, dude. You know that's a violation of your probation, especially if you're a felon. That's, that's really, really dumb. Brazy. Brazy grew up in Mobile, Alabama, an area that was full of drugs, crime, and violence. The rapper's parents were in and out of jail while he was growing up, and he often stayed with his grandparents. At age 10, he was arrested for the first... Okay, so his ra his parents were in and out of jail, so they were in the street life. And he stayed with his grandparents. Now, mind you, those are the people that burned alive, were the people he spent most of his time in childhood growing up with. Man... So essentially, the people that raised him were the ones that were burned alive. First time, after breaking into a factory and riding go-karts with his friends until the police came. After that, he was put on probation. Brazy said that he didn't even make it to high school, which his mom wasn't happy about. But there wasn't much she could say because she was in and out of jail herself. After that, he went and stayed with his aunt for a while, but ended up shooting his own cousin over a money dispute. Whoa, wait, wait. Did, did, did he just say he shot his own cousin? Did he just say he he shot his own cousin? Hold on. But there wasn't much she could say because she was in and out of jail herself. After that, he went and stayed with his aunt for a while, but ended up shooting his own cousin over a money dispute. Whoa, wait, wait. You shot your cousin? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on accident? Nah, like on purpose. <laughs> like on accident? Nah, like on purpose. <clears throat> That's tough. That's tough. He said there was a business situation between his cousin and his dad where some money came up missing. His dad was locked up at the time on a murder charge, so Brazy handled the dispute for him. The cousin ended up paralyzed. At so this was a dispute with his dad and the cousin. But homeboy, but uh, what's his name? Honeycomb Brazy handled the, situ the situation with the cousin for his pops who was in jail. Okay. 
to the shooting, which caused problems between Brazy and his aunt. But he says, "No shit that caused problems with your aunt. That thing, that's that Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward as fuck. I'm not gonna cap." I don't know if you have Thanksgiving or anything similar, but imagine a holiday where you where you all get together with your family and how awkward that's going to be now. You shot, I, I, I don't think he's dead because they would have clarified that he's dead. So his cousin, who he shot, is going to be at Thanksgiving. And his aunt is going to be there, the mother of the child who he shot. And dad probably, I don't know if dad's out of jail yet or not. <laughs> oh man, that's an awkward ass fucking family reunion. Says that his cousin is back to walking and their relationship is fine now. He was only 13 at the time of the- Never mind, only the aunt has a problem. Cousin's walking and is fine now. Okay. Shooting and ended up going on the run before getting arrested. This would be the first time he was sent to prison and wouldn't get out until he was 16 or 17. Right after being released, he would get caught up in another situation he where he was arrested young. for first-degree robbery and attempted murder. Brazy says that he didn't actually commit this crime. It was his friend, Derek Det Thomas, who pulled the trigger. They were together on the day of the robbery, and police reports showed that the victim was walking down the street when he was approached by two teens. They stopped and talked for a few minutes until one of them pulled out a gun and shot him in the leg. The other teen grabbed the money out of his pockets, and they both ran away. The two robbers were later identified as Det and Brazy. Det was the one who actually shot the victim, but because Brazy was more well known, they ended up arresting him first. But on the day that Brazy appeared He's in court smiling. to face these charges, hold on, can we get? A, they ended up arresting him first. Still this mugshot. He is. Is he cheesing in this mugshot? He's cheesing. Why he look happy as hell? I'm I'm weak, bro. On the day that Brazy appeared in court to face these charges, Det would end up getting murdered. He was shot and killed over a $5 dice game by a 40-year-old man named Anthony Williams. Brazy would end up doing four years for that charge. But as soon as he got back on the streets, he went right back to his old ways and caught another body. In February 2016, just after Brazy was released for the robbery and attempted murder, he allegedly shot 22-year-old Ladarius Stank Moore, who was a childhood friend. Stank was shot and killed at the Woodlands Apartments where he lived with his girlfriend. He showed up to their apartment, and his girlfriend didn't want to let him in. He ended up kicking on the door and found Brazy inside, who was supposedly there to sell her weed. They started fighting, and eventually, someone pulled a gun, leaving Stank dead. This murder earned Brazy a ton of enemies in his hood because Stank was well-known and loved in the area. Brazy went on the run for a while, but was eventually arrested in charge. So, hold on. God damn, this is crazy. I keep having to pause this shit, dude. Just to like comprehend what's going on. There's so much information. So this dude, uh, uh, honey, Honeycomb Crazy, was at this girl's crib, supposedly to sell her weed. And the boyfriend came home. She didn't want to let him in. He breaks the door down. Finds Honeycomb crazy. And a fight breaks out? Because he was selling her butt. That that don't make no sense. That don't Why wouldn't she let him in if he was just selling her butt? That doesn't make any sense. Nah. Honeycomb crazy was going crazy in her honeycomb. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> charge for the murder. He would end up beating the charge, but would spend over a year in jail fighting the case. While he was in jail, he exactly. had tons of fights and even admitted to stabbing three people in one day. Uh, yeah, 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 I stabbed mm. three in one day. Plus, he would even end up getting this. He just admitted in an interview to stabbing three people in one day. In one day. Uh, yeah, 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 I stabbed mm. three in one day. Plus, he would even end up getting to spend some quality time with his family, spending six months in the same cell as his father, who was still serving time for murder. Hell yeah. Crazy and his father have the same name, but different last names, so the jail staff didn't even know they were related. Crazy somehow got the murder charge over... You know, just anytime you can to spend to spend quality time with your pops. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you just... Quality time with pops is special. <laughs> I can't, bro. This is like a movie, dog. Return, but as soon as he was back on the streets, there was more problems. Where he beat that Stank's case? murder had turned his own hood against him, and many of his childhood friends were now his ops. Once he got out, yeah, Brazy would end up being shot several times. One of the bullets hit him in the head, putting him into a coma for a week, and the doctor said that he would probably never walk again. 
I wonder how many times is several times. That's more than a couple. What do you think? Five? Five, six times maybe? Four to, five, four to six times? And one of them was in the head. Fuck. But after a few months, the rapper was back on the streets and planning his revenge on the people that almost took his life. It was also around this time that he started booking studio time and decided to take rap more seriously. In June 2018, he dropped a track called Freestyle, which quickly went viral. It put him on the map as one of the hottest up-and-coming rappers from the South and eventually earned him a deal with rap a lot Records. Things seemed like they were going good for Brazy and that he may have made it out of the streets. But no, I wonder how many times is several times. <laughs> because several times is more than a couple times. I'm just wondering that, like, it's such it's so vague. It's so vague. It's so vague. I don't I don't I don't understand it. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> February 2020, he was sent back to jail for violating his probation. And breaking now at 10, a mobile rapper is going back to prison just a few hours ago. A judge revoking probation for Honeycomb Brazy. In 2016, the rapper was arrested on gun charges and sentenced to 15 years in jail for violating his probation. The court would eventually reduce the sentence and only made him do 18 months, then serve another five years of probation. In January 2020, his parole office filed a motion to have his probation revoked for possession of marijuana and a firearm. Brazy was brought back to jail, but the charge was dropped after the court failed to prove that he was actually <laughs> in possession of the weed or the gun, and he was allowed exactly. to walk free. After being released, Brazy would end up getting into another shootout that almost got him this time. He and his homies were on Facebook Live, sitting in the car outside a barbershop in Montgomery County, Alabama, a few hours from Mobile. A gray BMW slid through and started letting off shots, so Brazy and his crew started firing back. That's crazy. That's crazy. These street dudes are wild, bro. Do you... You hear about all these all, all the times of these street dudes being on live and getting shot at? Well, they... they the reason why they're going on live and showing their location is so the ops do try them, which I think is crazy. It, they, they, they want people to know where they are, <laughs> even though they know people are trying to kill their ass. It blows my fucking mind. They, they want the smoke. Started letting off shots, so raising his crew started firing back. not clear if anyone was hit, but many think that Brazy and his crew were set up. Brazy even released <coughs> surveillance footage from outside the barbershop, showing him and his people firing back in self-defense. Then, in February 2021, the tragic news broke that Brazy's grandparents had been shot and killed. Bro, did you, did you hear, did you hear how, how loud them gunshots were? Enough shots, so Brazy and his crew started firing back. It's not clear if anyone was hit, but many think that Brazy and his crew were set up. Brazy even released a surveillance footage from outside the barbershop, showing him and his people firing back in self-defense. Then, in February 2021, the tragic news broke that Brazy's grandparents had been shot and killed and their home had been burned to the ground while they were inside. The grandparents of a local rapper shot and killed, then their home set on fire. The grim details just revealed by emotional family members at the scene. Around 6.30 p.m. on February 17, 2021, the neighbors of Brazy's grandparents heard bullets tear through their home. A few minutes later, they went outside to find the neighbor's house on fire. Other witnesses reported that they had heard gunshots and then an explosion as the house went up in flames. It took three hours for firefighters to put out the fire, and by that point, everything was destroyed. But they were able to determine that two people inside the house had been killed. A witness said that he had heard over 100 gunshots, and he and his mother had to duck for cover. The two victims... 100 gunshots. A hundred. Probably an exaggeration, but that means there was a lot. I know this kind of stuff doesn't happen in Finland, and I think that's why when I do upload these reactions, they kind of do well on my channel. 
Um, this shit doesn't happen in a lot of the United States. Let me tell you. But there are places in the United States where this does happen. And it's a daily occurrence. Which is crazy. Which is why it interests me. You know, a lot of people don't like learning about this kind of stuff. But to me, it's 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 fascinating that this kind of shit can be happening in the same country that I live in. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking wild. It's wild to me, and I live here. Victims were later identified as Layla and Tony Lewis, the grandparents of Honeycomb Brazen. Layla and Tony Lewis, and were the head of their families. And we've also learned that they are the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. They were in their 60s and well-loved members of the community. After the news broke, the rapper posted a photo of his grandparents to IG to mourn his loss, writing, Long live grandma and grandpa. Y'all was my heart, for real. I put y'all in every song. I hate y'all got caught up in my shit. Shaking my head. This shit hurt, man. I begged y'all to let me move y'all every day. Y'all taught me how to be a stand-up guy. Yeah, I remember told me this. It's our time. It's our time. God got us. That's how I know y'all in heaven. Y'all baby boy got y'all for show. Granny, I'ma miss you bad already. And I'ma for sure miss smoking that gas with you, Grandpa. Y'all saved me a spot, so I'm definitely coming to see y'all. The viciousness of the attack Man. shows that it was not only targeted, it was personal. She Brazy gives me wasn't even involved bro. at the time of the murder, so they intended to go after his grandparents. Police later identified a man named Darren Jamark Southall. Wait, so they intentionally couldn't get Honeycomb Brazy, so they intentionally went after his grandparents. Man, how mad do you have to be at somebody to go after their grandparents? What? I don't even know what to say. As a person of interest in the case. Yeah, that's right, Lenise. And that's just part of the story. The big news tonight is that for the first time since Tony and Layla Lewis were murdered inside of their home months ago, Detectives telling me they're taking a long, hard look at a guy named Darren Southall. Yeah, I feel you. Southall is an accused drug pin with ties to the Gulf Cartel who had escaped from prison. South. Oh. Oh, someone who had ties to the cartel makes much more sense now. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Okay. Makes much more sense. It's much more clear. Okay. So this dude is just a psycho. Got it. Southall is accused of overseeing a massive drug operation that sold crack, cocaine, and fentanyl all along the Gulf Coast and is currently facing federal drug charges. Southall was not arrested in connection to the murder, but named by police as a person of interest. The 42-year-old is being investigated because he's the uncle of Stank, the 22-year-old that Brazy allegedly murdered. Wow. The family connection explains why the killers would take it. Okay. 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 Let's unwrap this fucking fortune cookie, okay? So, back way earlier in the video, the dude where Honeycomb Brazy was going brazy on this other girl, on, on this girl's Honeycomb, who he was selling weed to, but she wouldn't open the door to her boyfriend while this exchange was going on. A fight broke out between the two gentlemen. And Honeycomb Crazy ended up getting hold of a pistol and ended up shooting that guy, which might have been in self-defense, and then got acquitted of those charges and beat the case. But that dude's uncle, who he killed, is a drug kingpin who has a tight relation to the cartel. Am I getting this right? Am I getting this right? Basically, St Stanky's uncle is a kingpin who is connected to the cartel. And so they killed his grandparents for his nephew's murder. Am I getting that right? It's such a brutal extreme. But police say that Stank's murder may not be the only reason for the double homicide. And there's likely more to their beef than just that. At this point, Southall has not been arrested for the crime, but is being investigated. The murder does seem to be more serious than a regular neighborhood beef. Yeah, no the shit. The victims were not only two innocent people, they were killed in a cold, planned way that sent a serious message. There's a big difference between spraying a house with bullets and accidentally hitting an innocent bystander and targeting family members by burning down their home while they're inside. So it yeah. seems like the rapper may have had an enemy that's even crazier than he is. 
All in all, Brazy spent over a decade in prison, even though he's only in his late 20s and he's been shot at more than eight times. His ops have even given up trying to take him out and have turned to going after anyone close to him. But if the life of Honeycomb and Brazy wasn't wild enough, the rapper would end up getting sent back to jail just recently for violating his probation by appearing in a rap video with guns and drugs. Brazy is still on probation for the 2016 case where he was booked for being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. I'm lost too, man. It's okay. You're not the only one that's lost. You are not the only one that's lost here, my friend. The rapper is back in the headlines tonight. Honeycomb Brazy in jail on gun and drug charges. He only served 18 months of his 15-year sentence, and now the court wants him to go back and serve the additional 13 and a half years. They tried to get him once before for violating his probation, but the charges didn't stick. Now, they got all the evidence they need from his own music videos and social media. So the court dumb. was able to put together 15 different video clips that show Brazy with firearms and drugs. His lawyers tried to argue that anything appearing to be guns or drugs were fake and just props that were being used for videos because the use of any real weapons or drugs goes against his company's insurance policy. But the court pointed to the incident that happened back in 2020 when Brazy and his crew were shot at in Montgomery County and fired back. Clearly, they weren't using prop guns then, so Brazy was around real guns at some point. But the rapper wasn't actually the one. So, even if... Okay, so he's in his city. Right. He's at the he's at the barber shop. He's at the barber shop. He's on Facebook Live. Obviously giving away his position. He's not stupid. Or maybe he is. He gets in a gunfight where his boys allegedly, not him, pop back at the people trying to shoot at them. And the court is using that as him being around firearms. Man, they really want to put this dude behind bars. They really want to put this dude behind bars. Now, to be fair, toting a Draco on Instagram Live, that's dumb. The lawyers are just playing that as a fake Draco, but he's not playing around with no fake Draco in his apartment. That, pfft, no way. That's cap. But I think it's really shitty if they get on him for protecting his life or his being around guns where his crew protected his life. When shooting any guns and his boys were acting in self-defense. Prosecutors also accused Brazy of failing to check in with his probation officer, but his lawyers claimed that this was because he feared for his life and his grandparents were killed and didn't want to be seen anywhere that he could be trapped. The court also pointed out that at one point, he admitted to his parole officer that he had used marijuana and Percocet and traveled outside of the state to go to Houston, Texas. These are all violations of his probation. So, even if the evidence in his videos are just props, they clearly show a lifestyle that he's actually living. The judge took several weeks to review the evidence and determined that Brazy should finish out the remainder of his 15-year sentence for refusing to follow the terms of his parole. It looks like Jones is going back to prison for a long time. Yeah, it does, Byron and Lenise. Jones only served 18 months of a 15-year sentence on a gun charge. But the DA's office telling me about an hour ago that he'll now have to finish that original 15-year sentence. It does seem like they may be out to get Brazy for the calls in the streets of Mobile. The rapper yeah, said it's his name, Jones. It's not just him, but his whole family that is living that life. His father's locked up for a murder charge, his uncle's doing his a bit in federal prison, Jones. and all his cousins are well-known in the streets. He's been going back and forth from prison since he was just a kid and has been on probation since he was 10 years old. So Brazy isn't the kind of rapper who's just making up stories for clout. He's really out here, not only with people from his own hood, but serious criminals with connections to the cartel. It seems like the life he's been living has finally caught up to him, and the cops want to put him away before anyone else gets hurt. Honeycomb Brazy is another example of a rapper who got caught up in a cycle of trying to be a gangster and a rapper at the same time. Oh, being a real thug is that's nice. Did you see that there, Jones? These police officers undid his chain and gave it to, uh, I assume, his associates that were standing by because I don't think they wanted to be responsible for $30,000 chain. Oh, this this is e -cig. Got caught up in a cycle of trying to be a gangster and a rapper at the same time. Although being a real thug is what made his music blow up, once you start getting millions of views, it can be hard to stay active in the streets. 
Either you're going to end up in jail or people close to you are going to get hurt. Unfortunately, Brazy has had to deal with both, even though he had a promising career ahead of him in the music industry. Hopefully, he's got a good team and some lawyers who can get his charges overturned or his set. Totally missed the question. No, I didn't. So, by the way, is this an e-cig or like weed you smoke at the moment? This is a this is an e-cig. It's um, nicotine. I didn't miss no question, fool. Well. That's the end of this video, and that was extremely informative about somebody I had only heard about. If you guys aren't subscribed to Hip Hop Daily, man, I don't know. <laughs> we both missed it, bro. It's fine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you drop a like. Because none of y'all like these videos. I see the views, but I don't see the likes. Like the video. Comment. I don't know why I say this at the end of the video. None of y'all even make it this far. Alright, have a good day. Peace.